Welcome back to a super special episode of The Careful Boys, where today we have both Jared and Mike. Hey! Dr. Mike, can I call you Dr. Mike? What, whatever. <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Mike. He's like, whatever you fucking puny fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, did, you didn't make it to the muscle table. Right? <laughs> you you just chill out. You're here with me. Are you a real doctor if you don't have a lab coat on? <laughs> That's true. You know what, I am, I'm curious about your, your doc. I've heard some great stuff. Everybody says you're extremely intelligent. No big deal. No big deal. Bart, tell us who he is. He's being modest. So in my opinion, um, He's holding chopsticks the RP team, both the Jared and Mike, <laughs> are the... <laughs> All the chopsticks <laughs> What? Can't no, no, keep going. You know, just continue. Are harmful and you're just not helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making us look bad. <laughs> Give me a spoon! One, one of them upside down cone hats. <laughs> I'm American! That's a fork, by the way. <laughs> I'm American, okay? Get a lampshade on this guy. They're one of the premier and top authorities when it comes uh, to the fitness space because as we know there's a lot of like mumbo jumbo out there and everything they do is science backed um, Mike's an actual professor uh, Jared met Mike in college when he was a student in his class so to me it's like I think everything kind of funnels upwards and they're like the coaches coach you know yeah. like you have a lot of coaches out there but who do the coaches get their information from, from RP. And to me they're the That's coaches awesome. coach yeah that's a great answer. What school do you teach at? Like a, like a school for children? <laughs> <laughs> My parole song. officer says I'm not allowed to mention this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> for children. Like, yes. So you met him at what, fifth grade? Yeah. Uh, oh, what's, what's the timeline? Wait, what was the whole I was story? in college. So. <laughs> what is the whole story? Have you ever seen... Um, like college girls gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so, yeah uh, similar uh, production. College white boys. That walk <laughs> like, he's like, professor, how do I get muscular? And I'm like, here's the gym. <laughs> I can uh, jerk his ass out. He was yeah. tied up for a long time. He took it really. Well. Jared they hired me so I wouldn't rat him out. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up about this. <laughs> Jared <laughs> wanted extra credit. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Um, geez, now that I'm actually gonna say where I work. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Is that a secret? Oh shit, I didn't it's know. For fun, John. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to burn you out. Technically, I teach at, at Lehman College in the Bronx in New York. Cool. Do you still teach there after running the RP stuff, or is it like... So, uh, RP is older than my teaching job there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I teach there because Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, who invented hypertrophy, he's like yeah. the greatest hypertrophy oh. scientist, muscle growth like Almost any article you've ever read With about on it. is Schoenfeld's on there. I didn't know hypertro hypertrophy was a... <laughs> 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 uh, mad wisdom. Obviously, yeah, the, the buff people here, we understand, but for like other people who aren't buff, like what is hypertrophy? Yeah, some crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a muscle. It's just like a, a nerdy fucking term for just getting jacked. Oh, yeah, we got nerdy terms for all the shit. If you fellas are interested. That's cool. That's like saying blowjob or fellatio. You yeah, know, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. You gotta Latinize Who the it. Fuck you know? is fellatio? You've been cheating on me. Like, no, 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 no. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's like, wait, wait, who is fellatio? So you started teaching there because he was there already, or? He was starting a master's program, and he asked me to come uh, apply for the job to be a professor. Oh, and cool. I was like, well, it's Dr. Brad Schoenfeld. Um, and it's cool, it keeps me involved in the academy a little bit, because I had been teaching uh, for my whole sort of professional career and doing RP, and then at some point I just switched to only RP. Yeah. And then uh, Brad got me back into the... I was trying to understand what that said. I thought it said Renaissance penetration because of the wrinkles, but yeah, that's, that's, maybe my, that's my that's my. <laughs> that's the division, division I work for. Man. <laughs> He's the we president have, of that division. This is yeah. backwards letters. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is it backwards yeah. letters? That's so, so you can look, so look in the mirror. mirror. <laughs> <laughs> you should just get it where it's upside down so you can read it like this. Oh, that's yeah. Even better. Yeah, that's that a good idea. Like you're, just for you. Yeah. You're a queen of like daily affirmations. <laughs> he's got shirt. too strong a neck and too big a chest. He's like, I actually, <laughs> this may not be the time for this, but I have it like, is. I have about a zillion pet peeves that are all kind of jokes and not really serious, but like, 
some old clever bullshit on your shirt. I hate that shit. <laughs> you just wearing a t-shirt, you little bitch. <laughs> Funny because we had a whole, a whole, whole apparel. You ever have with like clever a real, bullshit? Yeah, that's a whole apparel. No, yeah. Yeah. You, ever like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you ever drive your car and you're having like a bad day and you see someone just happy-go-lucky like cross the street? They got some little clever shit on their shirt. Yeah. You just want to get out of the car and be like, you're never gonna be anything. Like that. <laughs> get that smile off your I cannot relate to this <laughs> feelings of anger. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot. So, so what do you teach again? So everyone can sign up for your class. <laughs> More dumb t-shirts to class. Um, advanced hypertrophy and strength uh, training theory. So it's only master's program, that class? Only master's. Dang. A master's in getting buff. Yeah. He has a PhD in getting buff. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't even make it sound cool, because if he's on the fucking, yeah. the school photo board, I'm like, oh shit, I'm he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. true, because I wouldn't follow you if you're fat. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That's fat is? <laughs> That's like fucking looking at that advanced calculus shit and seeing the old ass Asian lady. You know, like, like, that I'm bitch. Down. I'm You're down. Like, she that knows bitch has shit. more to teach me than I can learn. That's <laughs> what I'm There's no way I'm gonna understand the same. I'm a used up saying. sponge at this point. Yeah. So what is what is RP? Um Renaissance periodization. Thank you. <laughs> it's like you're a cop. That's some, is that some shit. clever gonna, shit on I'm your shirt? I hate that shit. <laughs> I, I feel like I need Yo, to be punched. Yo, if you're ever walking across the road and he sees you in his Yo, car, I'm running. <laughs> you better watch out, dude. <laughs> you want some of that Yakuza shit? I don't have to fuck with you. Yep. Uh, maybe you could explain, because I would say maybe less than half of this audience even knows what fitness is in general. Fuck yep. fitness. You don't know fitness? fitness nice. Start, start fitness from... dick in your mouth, that's what oh, oh, dude. That's very mean. It's like that. a podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, maybe you start from like a super low, low common denominator. Which porn producer side to me? Oi, let's make money, gentlemen. Oi, now go on. Oi. Asian man on man. It's a demographic for everything. Oh yeah. I would say half of our viewers probably think fitness is walking around the block. I would say half of our viewers think fitness is Bart. Yeah, Bart is fitness. I swear, we have a quarter of our viewers actually know some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say. The majority don't know as much, so maybe if you could share what uh, RP actually is, what do you guys yeah. do? Totally. He's we, asking you to be serious. Yes, this is a difficult transition. <laughs> so, we started out as a company that just helps people get informed about fitness. So, we have a couple of ebooks that we publish that are super cheap. We put out tons of content on our YouTube for free all the time. We have a paid section of YouTube, which you can get even more in-depth super nerd content. If that's not good enough, then we have coaches on our staff, 20 some odd coaches. Most of them have PhDs or registered dietitians, or they're like world-class athletes, some combination of all of that. And they'll coach you. They're kind of the best coaches in the world. And Jared's one of Except them. Except me, you picked the worst one. Jared's like an honorable mention. He's, He's like, the worst one. Yeah, one two first places because yeah, of him. That's true. You got double first. That's more a testament to you than me. But. No, it's to you. That's so cute, you guys. Are hey, hey, isn't he annoying to work with though? Like he's all just like, what about this? What about this? And he's just like, just do what I say. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, no, Bart, you can't do that. Cardi's like, okay, cool, cool, cool. What about jump rope? <laughs> Damn it, Cardi. Bart. <laughs> but yeah, and then on top of that, we have apps. Yeah. So appetizers, yeah, but hyper, uh, yeah, hmm? yeah. Bro. What you want? Isn't yeah. the is your app uh, almost like AI based or no? I mean, like it's a, it depends on what, what, what definition of AI mm. you use. It's, uh, is it modern AI, truly cutting edge? Absolutely mm. not. <laughs> uh, is it technically an expert system uh, program? Yes, this, it falls under the general category of AI if you keep it real broad. Mm. Like, is your dog smart? Like, yeah, compared to fucking dogs, he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna help you with calculus or whatever. He might yeah. shit on the bed. Because on your app, you could even put like um, <laughs> hurt back or whatever, right? And then the the exercises that it suggests will kind of work around even yeah, some yeah. of the injuries. No, it, it thinks oh, a shit. Wow. It's for sure. Very intuitive. For um, you, you just you just intuit and you tell it, hey, how sore are you? How much do you feel like training more? Mm -hmm. You type in all your numbers and it just gives you new progressions. It just tells you what to do next, integrating all the knowledge that you give it and that it has. So it's a it's a coach in your pocket. We have one for training and we have one for diet. That's so if so you want to cool. get more jacked, you do what the training thing says. If you really want to get more jacked or get leaner or whatever, or get prettier so you can finally have someone to love you, mm -hmm. finally, <laughs> once in your life. <laughs> uh, Need a lot of that. Yeah, you're like, damn, it's really selling it. <laughs> I'm in. It feels so good to be loved. <laughs> Which job's more fun? Like the running the RP stuff or the or being a professor? 
motherfucker, this is on live TV. I'm going to lie to you, politician style. Lie to me. Just going on YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah, I fucking hate being a professor. My fucking school's watching this. Like, you idiot. <laughs> They're all fucking idiots. These fucking kids. Yeah. Oh, it was it. Brad Schoenfeld's watching this. That's yeah. kind of tight. The, yeah, the yeah. politically correct so response definitely. is both uh, Both are uniquely <laughs> challenging and, and fun. <laughs> wow. Hey. Thank you. Good job, me. I feel like you told us the answer. <laughs> yes, yes, we can just we shut up now. <laughs> yeah, but FRFR, because we're trying to keep it real on this motherfucker. For real, yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we do. Um, if I do nothing except stare at and manipulate equations and mathematical concepts, I don't want to be anywhere else in a white office. That's your room. dream yeah. job? Dream. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I just want to disappear into the matrix. Jerry's <laughs> got the same idea. Is that RP or the school? Uh, yeah, whatever, whoever gives me the opportunity, I get more of that kind of work with RP. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah cause like, designing All the logic for the All you blank ass faces. Yeah. So you like research. What he said? <laughs> research a lot? I research a few things, you know what yeah. I'm saying? On the toilet, <laughs> yeah. COVID cure and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so how did y'all meet? Oh shit, boy. Yeah, like the, the, for real, for real. The for is this real. Like, a, like a Christian podcast or some shit? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Christian <laughs> singles. Yeah, this is great. Why do you have two knives? And practice. There's more questions than Four. answers here. There's way more questions than answers. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> maybe there's a, a need for it. Yeah, yeah, true. I wanted this one, but yeah, I had to do the double edge. Yeah. Sammy's like, one needed a friend. It was buy one, get one 50% off. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. knife oh, is man. so lonely. <laughs> John Wick can't do cool stuff with just one knife. I mean, pretty cool stuff, but if there's two, holy shit. Wait, yeah, that's even better. Yeah. And if you yeah. hold one forwards and one's backwards, then oh. that's good for the yeah. cinematics. Real tactical. But for real? Yeah. Uh, I think we touched on it last time I was on here. Mike was my professor in Missouri. It was his first professorship job. I had just started like a scientific training and dieting association at the university, and I kind of knew of him from ETSU because there's another really common known professor in sports science. His name's uh, Dr. Stone. What's his first name? Mike. Mike Stone. Dr. Mike oh, Stone. Mike's. Did you sign up for his class because you already knew who he was? Uh. Yeah, there were two professors that taught most of the classes he would teach, and I was like, I'm going to sign up for his. Oh. But I was actually a CARA, community advisor, resident advisor, if you know what that is. Like, I'm in charge of a floor. Person to deal with drunk undergrads. Basically. Yeah. So I'd have to go to school two weeks early, and then he was, that was his first year as a professor. So I just saw him in the gym, and I was like, hey, what's up? I know who you are. Would you be my, uh, the mentor to this association I just started on campus? And we literally just met in the gym, and then I was his student. And then you go like, so, went to the who office. You, who do you get your steroids from? Because I need basically, some. Basically, that's basically what happened. Oh, it wasn't like, hey, you need a spot. And then you start a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> He's not trying to pick me up, god damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, but hey, for all due, all due respect, your game is strong as fuck. <laughs> yeah. I, felt, I felt kind of seduced by that. Like, I'm not training, I but ready. I love a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I kind of feel like I do now. Yeah, I need a spot in life. This is a yeah. dating podcast, remember. Oh, yeah. Great. I'm right. Christian, Christian singles. <laughs> Christian single people. How did you guys end up working in the same company? Was he like a star student? Like, he felt oh. real bad for me and hired me. I don't know why. He's <laughs> a nice dummy. <laughs> Read. He's like, I'm in college. I'm like, no. Okay. I was a diversity yeah. hire. <laughs> Just not enough yeah. white guys. Yeah. White, tra <laughs> white trash is a little mini column on the diversity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> because there's no Asian column, you motherfuckers are like, you're, you're, you're a white woman. I'm not. <laughs> I'm 33.4% Chinese. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I <laughs> will not. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the Caucasian side of you leaves so I can see the Chinese side. <laughs> yeah, he, he's the only one that doesn't believe me. Yeah. That's so crazy. He's a doctor, dude. He knows. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah he can see shit. right through me. That's crazy. Plus, my wife's Asian, so I... Yeah. Like, he knows. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, why do you think I'm here? I'm the only white person here? I mean, Jared and I are here. I mean... Like, diversity hires, like... <laughs> we are. Yeah, <laughs> Anthony's 33% white. You're what? Exactly. You traitor ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm white by proxy because my in-laws yeah. exist. <laughs> You're white by proxy because it's knives. I, dude, it's knives. I, I just got comfortable with that and you, you again threw me off. I'm like, oh shit, they're still there. Speaking of knives, I was flying over to see Jared uh, two days ago and to Vegas and I get on the flight and I'm like, it's from New York, so it was like five hours. So I'm like, 70 milligrams of THC should sort this out. No problem. <laughs> 
and then of course <laughs> I started watching Blade, the original. Oh, nice. oh. The first one? Oh. Still holds yes. up. That's first the one. best one, the only one. That's the one. best. There are, so, the, the way the vampires talk to each other, he talks to them, because there's pure bloods and yeah, not yeah. pure bloods, that's the most racist shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with any other nephew yeah. group, that movie get canceled. <laughs> I was born to kill you blood suckers. I was like, <laughs> He's like, they're into everything. They control the whole economy. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, about Jews, so are, is he? Yeah, they <laughs> control the vampire media. So yeah. they, they hate sunlight and they're small and really pale white and they come from Northern Europe. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> Anti Semitism. No, it's just vampires, it turns out. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him all. Randomly. He's like, why don't you quit? It's so stressful. He's like, I gotta kill every last one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> and you know he like slipped up and it was like, did you bite mother there? Oh, oh, oh. Wesley, oh, oh. we can't say white. He's like, yeah, sorry, sorry. Vampire. <laughs> we'll cut that scene. <laughs> Holy shit, I gotta watch Blade again. I know. <laughs> with that, with that in mind. Yeah, this is yeah. fucking These are the shit. Easter eggs that we're missing. The, yeah. the director's cut. That, that scene's in there. Get out of here, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, he says white in the director's cut. Really? Oh, what? I, I knew it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there was a, there was an Asian scene too because they got to rep all the the sub races of vampire. Yeah. If you guys, you remember that? Oh, there was like an yeah. old Asian man, right? There was tons of old Asian men, and they were watching like these Japanese girls do like this <laughs> terrible pop hip hop situation, but they're all the school girl bag. outfits, so yeah. yeah, that's it. It was like nonsense, but it was really popular, which is like generally what I assume K-pop is. Generation like, I'm after don't. generation, what was going into the little young Japanese school girl? I was not afraid of that scene or upset about it at all. <laughs> I didn't know you was going to love this yeah, scene, dude. <laughs> it was like only the highlights of this scene. Oh, yes, yeah. the best scene. So how do you two work together today? Barely. I hate this fucking guy. <laughs> A lot of resentment. <laughs> this is going to end up being therapy for you guys to bring us back together. I'm glad I'm in the middle. That's why you're yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Jared and I we do pretty different things at RP. He does much more of the coaching. I do more of the like technical work, but like with apps and stuff like that. But I rope him in every now and again for that. And he never ropes me in for coaching because I'm no good at that shit to be yeah. completely honest. <laughs> um, but then he will do tons of coaching and then we collab a lot on YouTube where he'll come in and we'll train various peoples for the YouTubes and they want to be hurt by our muscle growth training techniques. That's cool. So your guys' jobs are pretty like compartmentalized where like you guys technically don't cross very much except for like, during the content? Yeah, like YouTube and then we both pitch app stuff. Well, but yeah. like a lot of the, like the algorithms and stuff, Mike basically wrote like how fucking long ago? Three years, four years ago? 2018 or Yeah, 2018. Crazy. You know what a program to too? No. no, no, not at all. Oh, shit. But we have a team of uh, super amazing engineers that, are, yeah. that know how to program. Oh, they know. Yeah. Yo, fellas, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to brag, but we got hella Jews and Asians on this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> That's shit. Silicon Valley, baby. Yeah. 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 Right. Recipe for success. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck around. That's like programmers. Do you guys miss each other since you guys live on opposite sides of the country? Jira comes to visit every now and then. Yeah, I do. Usually during a crisis, but I you know. <laughs> would you guys like to hear about the nature of the crisis? I would. Ooh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Can we hear about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play bad, it low. Bad breakup shit. Reveal. Bad breakup shit. Dramatize it a are, bit. Oh no problem. Oh my god. <laughs> Was the crisis? <laughs> oh boy. The looks like seriously like oh, really concerned. Don't worry, Jared's fine. All right. So, uh, Jared is has what he calls you guys i think have heard in this podcast before he's fully connected to what's called the jerry force, <laughs> the jerry force. yes the yeah. jerry oh yeah it's a real uh, yeah and it unites this podcast uh, <laughs> roughly three groups of people it's a jerry pool uh, yeah yeah they're uh, southeast asians <laughs> but don't worry if you're we any kind of asian and you happen to be either uh, browner than average or have very distinct facial features like big ass lips or some big ass eyes or some shit like you that. You say field workers, or your <laughs> eye, or your eyes are really like I can't. I'll get canceled for doing it like that. <laughs> <laughs> the more like that you look, like the less you look like a white woman, the more your shot at the title is Whoa. nearly guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I see. And then so 
Uh, there's then there's the Latinas. Same rules apply. The more Caucasoid you look, it's a technical <laughs> term. Yeah. Yeah. Or Jared it's a can't, he can't, he can't, he, he'd love to talk to you, but he can't see you through the force. He yeah. can't feel yeah. you. Yeah. But if you're one of those two demographics, and the third is just the Jerry himself, and the Force is kind of like it's created by all the living creatures in it, and it's reinforced by them, and Jerry can feel the Jerrys, they're all yeah. called Jerrys. Yeah, every time I drive and, to uh, Cali, it's just like... You could start to... It's, it's like a magnet for you. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, strong <laughs> it's hard to keep your eye on the road. Yeah, yeah he's like aware of all things. I think there's all some, time. some indigenous draw that he has, you know? Yeah. He, likes the, he likes the ancient blood. And it takes a special kind. Said indigenous. Yeah, yeah, he's like, ooh. You're sort of <laughs> he's like, you could have just said field workers. <laughs> you just said field workers. <laughs> yeah. So there's a Jerry yeah. crisis. So, so every now and again, you see that the, the Jerry Channel it is a vessel for love. <laughs> and true. The sometimes the volume and the intensity of the love, it um, exceeds the capacity of the vessel. Oh. And the, <laughs> what what happens when the love? gets out of the Jerry Force is called, uh, technically, in the industry, it's called drama. <laughs> <laughs> and Spillage. Only, now, look, like, everyone is a beautiful person on this earth. And we're all united in harmony. You know what I gotta say after this. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm not gonna say shit about Southeast Asians. Yeah. Because my wife at home is Southeast Asian. Mm -hmm. She's not angry at all. Always getting that dick cut off, I say yeah. too yeah. much. But Latinas, <laughs> they got that fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you fuck with the Latino, it's all good. It's all good intentions. Yeah. When the drama happens, Latinas are like way over prepared for the shit. Escalates. Like, drama in your life, if you're a Latina, it's like if the zombie holocaust finally happens and you just happen to be like a fucking Republican gun toting fucking dumb. <laughs> like, you got like your truck. Waiting like, yeah. for this. I just couldn't the wait long enough. For is this care. true? Like, this side of the table. Oh, dude. Yeah. He nailed it. There are, there are is... Latina wives right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that. Yeah, it's true. She so warns me every day. When yeah. And that. they ain't saying shit. Yeah. Are you safe at home? <laughs> not sometimes. While the camera's on them, they're like, that's sometimes. not true at all. Sometimes. That's not true. It depends on Latinas the do not have any drama whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know peaceful. what you're talking about, you guys. Peaceful <laughs> creatures. You guys are full of shit. <laughs> I cannot not agree with this. So sometimes, when the Jerry, he gets a little too much of the drama, he leaves the epicenters of uh, <laughs> brownness, we'll call them, yeah. and he, he goes to Detroit, Michigan, <laughs> We have misery, cold, and, and white snow, people, so no drama, and a shitload of whites. <laughs> yeah, no we, got some, we got some mm -hmm. fucking f so that's, ass. That's, that's why he visits my ass back pictures, but <laughs> Jerry. So at that point, he's not even looking for love. Yeah, so he, he comes to Detroit. There, there could even be great. They the could even be Latinas and Southeast Asians there. He's just overreached on, on love. <laughs> There's yeah, too yeah. much drama recently, and you have to go to you pull back. Yeah, it's like when you're peaking for a powerlifting meet, and you're really fatigued that last week, so you got to pull back a little bit. Easy. Warm up weights only. Yeah. I don't know what that means so in love. Is that called a few yeah. texts? Deload. Deload, okay. No, no video chats, no Snapchats. <laughs> I don't think you should go to any gyms in Westminster <laughs> so or Garden, Garden Grove. Don't go to any. Ever? Got it. Okay. Orange yeah. County in general. Orange County. Might cause some problems. Don't though. go to any of those gyms. Or go to every single one. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? See, so you saw the other way. <laughs> 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 Feel free to take yeah. the opposite of exactly. my. <laughs>